thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and boy, I'll tell you, 1969 and the Rolling Stones, I've got four unused tickets to show you from this magnificent tour, and this was it. This was the tour that announced the Stones as the greatest rock and roll band in the world. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, they lived up to it with a show with just dynamite, legendary reputation. In fact, it's Bond the um, live album Get Your Yaya's Out, which is just, you know, a killer record, and, and it was recorded on this, on this tour, of course. Seventeen dates, all in November of 1969. Man, the first Stones shows in America in two and a half going on three years, and the public was, oh, were they ready to hear things like Honky Tonk Women and Jumpin' Jack Flash, and ready to see Mick Taylor on guitar, replacement, of course, for the deceased Brian Jones. So, you talk about pent-up demand, holy cow. Okay, so here we've got the first ticket to show you is from the uh, LA Forum on Saturday, November 8th, and it says, Late Show, 11 p.m. Fascinating piece because it's an early computer ticket, a precursor to Ticketron, if you will, and this is just, a, you know, a 60s computer-generated ticket, so uh, definitely in the early stages of this process, and uh, you can see on, on one end there it says, TRS for Ticket Reservation Systems, Inc. How dry, right? <laughs> um, and uh, $7.50. And what's really stunning is no mention whatsoever of the venue. There's no mention of the LA Forum on here. It's got everything else, but they were really, you know, getting their act together. Now, what's amazing about this show, 69 in Los Angeles, is as Bill Wyman's book confirms, this thing didn't start till 4 a.m., even though the ticket said 11 p.m. So it didn't start till 4 a.m. Saturday night slash Sunday morning. Obviously, no coverage in Sunday's papers, and I was in L.A. at the time, and I remember I couldn't attend the show, but I remember um, Monday morning's L.A. Times had big stories about all the worried parents because there weren't cell phones yet, and their kids didn't come home till after dawn. They were freaking out. The police switchboards were lit up and everything, but it was only rock and roll. I'm rock and roll even back then, and the parents were uh, learning it. You know, the Fresno ticket I showed you from 65 has a 10 a.m. start date on it. <laughs> Imagine if this had a 4 a.m. start date. What a cool ticket that would be. So, great story behind that one, but if you can believe it, there's even, I take these, always take these chronologically, a better story behind this one. Oh my goodness. This is Tuesday, November 11th in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, there we go. If I tilt it up, we get some light on that gorgeous gold color. Okay, this ticket was meant for and was going to be used by Jim Morrison of The Doors. Oh my goodness. Wow. It is Jim and his buddy actor um, friend Tom Baker were flying to the show and they were arrested when they got off the airplane for drunk and drunk and obnoxious behavior. And so the ticket went unused and and the pair of tickets I should say eventually found their way into a collector's hands, and uh, you know, wow, what a what a fun provenance for a ticket. Now look at that, it's gold in color. The hole punches probably meant complimentary, I'm assuming. In fact, the $25 price tag on there, I don't think they had gold circle seating back in 69, so maybe it was just really, you know, intended to be for stars or something. And even the section and everything, look at that, it says in red, Section FC. Of course, front center, row one. So that's, that's, that's a pretty amazing... I mean, any unused Stones ticket from 69 is fun, but oh my gosh, that's just amazing. And so I'm afraid the second two I have to show you are somewhat boring in comparison, but hey, collectors want to collect them all, right? So here we have Wednesday, November 26th at the Baltimore Civic Center. And actually, there is a nice claim to fame for this ticket, too. A song from this show was included on Get Your Yaya's Out, the live album that I mentioned earlier, the official live album. So that's pretty cool. Most of it was recorded um, in New York City, but they pulled Love in Vain, the Robert Johnson cover for Yaya's, and, and Lester Bangs, the uh, you know legendary critic, once said that uh, Yaya's was the best concert rock concert ever put on record. So that's, that's really something. And uh, as you can see, if I move in a little bit, it says Premier Attractions, Inc. presents, and the tickets for the lower concourse. Okay, the final of the four tickets is from Boston Garden, a legendary venue. And this is Saturday, November 29 of 1969, and it's The Late Show at 9 p.m. Now, this is a pretty busy ticket with lots of information crammed in there, and it's also a hammered ticket. Obviously, the condition looks like it almost went through a washing machine in the jeans pocket or something, so it's got a lot of creases and stuff, but still, you know, hey, it's an unused ticket, and it's, um, it is what it is, and happy to collect it, you know. Um, now, interestingly, it says Frank Connolly and Gerald Roberts presents, and then it's funny how the Rolling Stones are in very small letters on this. I'll try to get it in closer for you. 
Um, and it's the second balcony, so that ticket ran only $4.50. Now, one thing fun and unique, not unique, one the, a first, it was a first for the 69 fall tour for the Stones that the previous tours, we have some, you know, I showed you some pictures from 64, 5, and 6, but um, this is the first Stones tour for, for which, if you collect the tickets, um, bootleg recordings abound. And so almost whatever ticket you have, you can go on the internet or something and find a recording made on a cassette recorder from the audience, and that really adds a lot to having any tickets. So almost the whole 69 tour, I think, is available that way. Anyway, there's four unused beauties from the Stone 69 tour. Great stuff. Collect them all if you can. And uh, thanks a lot for dropping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.